Let's take a quick tour of the ProPresenter interface to get you familiar with some of the windows that you'll be working in as a ProPresenter operator. And let's start at the very top over in this region of the interface, and this is our top menu. And if you click on any one of these items, such the view option, uh, you'll notice a menu will appear down beneath it that will give us access to many functions and features within ProPresenter. We'll be visiting this top menu very often uh, when we want to create a new document or if we want to import something into our ProPresenter project. Uh, we can even check preferences, which we'll do in a different lesson. And you may want to look at registration information and so on and so forth, but it's probably not a bad idea to get yourself familiar with these options up here when you get a chance. Below this top menu is our toolbar, and the toolbar contains a lot of additional uh, access to functions and features that we'll be utilizing all through many of the lessons found in this training series. And to give you an example of that, if I click on this video image button here in the toolbar, uh, the video image bin down below disappears. And if I want to reveal that video image bin, then of course I'll click on that as well. So beneath the toolbar is our preview window area. And if I click on an item, say over here, for instance, and this happens to be a very large container with many elements, many slides, and I'll tell you about that in just a moment. But basically, if I click on this animation video, it'll appear in my preview window. And uh, you'll notice that there's a bar moving across from left to right to indicate many things. If I pause this, I can explain. This time code her area here, or this time reference, I should say, indicates how far into the video we are. Over here, this indicates how much time is left. I could mouse click on this little button here and drag it to the left or drag it to the right to scrub through the video. Or, of course, I can just play it. This particular video will loop when it gets to the very end. And I'll show you how to set that in a different lesson. If you want to clear something, I'll go back up to our toolbar. I can navigate over here to clear all, and that'll clear that. And of course, that'll clear it from the screens that you're displaying to out in your venue or your location. More on that to come. So let's talk about some of these items over here. Well, this is basically a very large container. This is to the right of the preview window. This large container area contains, as I just mentioned, an animation. However, you can also have a video. Uh, contain in this as well. You can also have a still image or a graphic. Of course, I mentioned slides to you. These are lyric slides, and we'll be talking more about that in a different lesson as well. And of course, you can also have photos. And notice when I click on any one of these, then of course it appears over here in this preview window. And at some point, you'll get really good at clicking on many items here and down below to be timed with whatever is going on out in uh, the uh, venue that you're at or the church that you're at. So let's clear this item by clicking on the clear all over here in our toolbar and let's move our way down to the library. Now the library contains documents, many, many documents. As a matter of fact, this particular document contains all of these elements, all of this media type information that I've been clicking on just a moment ago. If I were to navigate up to, let's say, all because of Jesus, this document, it contains just slides, very colorful slides. And uh, I'll explain what these colors mean in a different lesson. But basically what I'm saying is in your library with all of your documents, and I happen to have 73, uh, you can have a variety of things in that document like I just did in that previous document. So at some point, you'll probably get pretty comfortable with many of the items over here in the library, and you may not, but it's never a bad idea to just kind of move up and down and go through these just to see what you have in in your library. Now, one other thing I want to bring up too is sometimes you can have hundreds of items in your library, and that's where the playlist down below comes in. You can create custom playlists for specific events or dates like I have down in here, September 2nd weekend service. If I click on this playlist, notice it'll bring up the items in the playlist and I can click on another document that should update up here and it just did, see that? So what I'm saying is you can drag four or five items from this very large library down into a playlist and get quick access to it. And if you're organized like we are here, uh, you'll have separate dates for separate events and it's easy to get to by clicking on this or your pro presenter operator can simply go down here and get quick access to something that's been predetermined already dragged down into for that person so that there's no guessing going on. Over to the right of our playlist area is our video image bin and as you noticed a moment ago I was clicking on items up here to activate them in the playlist, I'm sorry, in the preview window. When you click on something over here like this animation that'll also play it up in the preview window. Now the background image which is what I'm clicking on and happens to be in that category kind of makes sense to have these items behind or beneath 
what's up here, right? Since it's the background, it kind of makes sense to me. So when I click on a slide, let's say that right there, then of course that particular set of lyrics will appear on this background. And as the worship team is performing or if the singer is performing this, I would just click right along, maybe right before these lyrics are sung. And uh, that way your uh, congregation can follow along with the performance and worship right along with everyone else. So it's quite handy. I bring that up because they are backgrounds that I clicked on over here. Now, of course, if you drag a background up here and you click on it, like for instance, this guy right here, then that basically covers everything. That's something that you're gonna learn along the lines of operating in ProPresenter. And of course, in this series, this training series, we'll talk about that more in depth in future lessons. So it doesn't mean that when something is up here that you still can't click on a slide like I'm doing now to bring up lyrics. However, just keep that in mind that there's a, always a foreground. And I'm gonna keep this simple because there are several layers uh, there are six layers that ProPresenter uh, will give us. But as someone who's new, I want to keep it simple. Let's just stick with a background layer and a foreground layer for this basic training that you're about to go through. Okay, and we'll talk more about layers possibly in intermediate to advanced lessons. But for now, these are the two elements that you're really going to be working with the most as a ProPresenter operator uh, for us and possibly for anyone else. Okay, so I'm gonna clear a couple things by going back up to my toolbar. And if I just wanna clear a slide, which is this lyric, I'll click on just that. And then of course the background remains. If I wanted to clear everything, I would click on clear all. I'm kind of taking this tour a little bit further by explaining things, but that's okay. Your familiarity will make things a little more comfortable for you as you continue to take these lessons in this training series. Let's talk about a couple of other areas real quick. And I wanna navigate back up here to the toolbar and click on the audio button up here. Mouse click on that. And that will reveal two windows. This will give us access to import independent audio files such as music and be able to play that or manipulate that uh, at any time uh, during our presentation. So for instance, if I happen to have a background, if I click on that, and then if I happen to bring in a, um, a, a, a slide, I can then click on music to play it, and you'll hear it, and you'll see the audio bars going up and down. You'll Actually, there it is. And you'll see these audio bars playing as well. See that? So you could play independent music if you'd like while the slides are playing, or maybe people can sing along with this. But my point is uh, you, you have some manipulation of the audio here. You can click on this pause button, much like we did for video, and you can scrub through the song if you'd like, much like we did for video. And you've got time indicators that are identical to video. But if you want the music to fade, okay, I can navigate over here, mouse click on this button right here, and the music will gradually fade down, which is real nice. That's independent of anything else that's being played up here. If I wanted to get rid of these or clear all these items, then I would select clear all, just like that and that goes away and that brings us back to a blank screen. Well, that's it for the tour. Appreciate your time. You're now ready to move on to the next lesson.